Welcome everybody. This is a special sense model regarding taste. That's right, taste. This weird looking funky structure. Uh, looks like some weird mountains and a volcano or something. Uh, it's part of the tongue. A zoomed in part of the tongue, I might add. So let's go over some of these crazy structures. Uh, there's a couple of different papillae you have to know. You have to know what the valate papillae, and that's these big rascals right here. They form a V at the back of the tongue. I'll show you that on another angle of the model in a second. But that's the fungiform papillae. And this is the, oh, that's the valet. This is the fungiform. And that's this little thing. This little big mountain. I guess it looks like a, a fungus. Has the form of a fungus. I don't know. Fungus comes in many forms, so that's kind of a, a broad term. I don't really, I don't really like it. Anyway, it's there. I'm just kidding. Uh, taste bud. Now, taste bud, if we zoom in, this is where the real meat of the tongue is at. Look at this thing, that little red bead looking thing. Comes out those red hot candies. Uh, have you ever eaten those candies? A candy designed on making your mouth go on fire? That's an idea. But anyway, this is those taste buds. And you know what? That's going to come up again uh, in a much more zoomed in fashion. Uh, we can also see a taste bud down here. Taste bud. Yeah, look at all those tastes. You can taste some sweet, some sour, some salty, some bitter. A little umami for the meat flavor. A little cheese. I love some cheese. I had some cheese and crackers last week. Oh, fantastic. I bought more cheese just to eat them on crackers. It's so good. Little Ritz, whole wheat Ritz with some nice, nice, like mild cheddar. I want a sharp cheddar. I want a mild cheddar. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of hungry. But look at the back of the tongue here. Uh, to taste all those delicious foods, such as the cheddars, you need these papillae. So notice the rough texture. That's, well, I mean, if you ever looked at your tongue before, it's got some, it's got some spots on it. It's got some specks. So it's got these papillae. The valate, as you can see, forms this V back here. Also looks like a, a less than sign if you're in the, in the math side of things. That's it, okay. And the fungiform, we can also see. Fungiform, right here. Those little bumps. So, next time you're checking out your tongue, well, let's see what you got. There's a thing as a super taster, but you know, not something here nor there. Uh, flipping this thing back around. Let's look at that taste bud again. Taste bud, right here. This whole apparatus is a taste bud, zoomed in. A lot of nervous input, that's because it's carrying nervous signals to the brain based off being stimulated by the chemicals in the food you're eating. All right, now to get inside the taste bud, you need to enter into the taste pore. Focus up, there we go. So this opening here, this is the taste pore. That's where the chemical can actually go inside and interact with the taste bud. Once there, you interact with the gustatory hairs, the microvilli of these cells, and it's these little stringy things here. The little hairs coming up. They'll be, they'll be tickled, stimulated by what's coming in, what kind of delicious treats you're coating your tongue with. Man, um, I had some new ice cream the other day. It was a strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Oh, whew, had like a graham cracker swirl in it. Man, that was good. That definitely tickled some taste buds of mine. Let me tell you something. I'm thinking about it right now, and I am jonesing make another container of it at the store. I don't need it, but I might do it anyway. That's food. Uh, gustatory epithelial cells, you gotta process these tastes and such, so you have a series of these. So I turn the camera a little bit. Ooh, there we go, look at all them cells. There's different types, but for us, we're gonna keep it broad strokes, broad strokes. And then lastly, finishing up this video with the basal cells, those gustatory epithelial cells gotta be replaced at some point. And these basal cells down here will then lead up and take over once these things keel over. So, always got the replacement ready to go. Alright, that's it for this one. Pretty easy. Pretty succinct. Good luck and happy tasting.